Hello everybody, this is a very large object, and I am giving you what for what episode <clears throat> I believe this is episode three. Um, I apologize for such a long delay between episodes. Um, but this is going to be focusing mainly on the Fallout series um, and the Outer Worlds. Um, the Fallout 76 will not be in this video. Um, I do have to, I'll probably make a standalone video for that one. Um, just given the fact that I can't currently run it on the Neo, um, but I don't think it's the Neo's fault. I just think however it is configured is an issue. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead. Let's start off with the Neo here. Um, we, I have changed a little bit on how my um, wattages are going to be. Um, so if we can see here, all right, so if we can see here, um, we have 20 watts, 15 watts, 11 watts, and custom, which is 30. Um, I don't think going below 11 watts on most of these games is going to give us anything fruitful um, with the Ion Neo. Um, where it does on the Steam Deck. So keep in mind, I am somewhat hammer, um, hampering it, uh, uh, but not to the detriment of the Neo. Um, it's to show usable cases here, um, not to uh, take a jab at the Neo. So that being said, let's zoom out a little bit here just so I can hold it and do what I need to do um, without uh, <laughs> uh, making it appear off screen, you know? So, so let's start with 15 watts, Fallout 3. So the settings are going to actually be set to Ultra. As you can see, it's set. So let's go ahead, let's hit play. And by the way, um, another reason why uh, this video has taken a while to come out is because I have a new camera and a new mic. Um, <clears throat> I was waiting on the mic particularly uh, to show up. I was testing out the camera and making sure that worked. Um, but it seems like it was the mic that was taking a little time here. So let's go ahead, let's hit load. I'm just gonna make sure that we're loading in the same save for both. Save for. I actually had to play a little bit of Fallout 3 um, to get both of these to pretty much the same progress here, but there is a spot in Fallout 3 that does tank the Neo, at least I think this is more of a OS dependent here, but you can see here it is tank, it's dropping to like 50 some FPS, so you're not going to get constant 60 here. But if you're not too concerned about a constant 60, you can probably safely set it to 11 watts. Let's actually go back here. Because you can set it to 11 watts and still have a pretty playable experience. That's what I would actually personally recommend anybody using the Neo, is 11 watts. And these uh, Gamebryo titles um, is because they are, um, Um, they're just so lightweight. Uh, I say lightweight in a um, very general sense. This is because it's an older game. So, as you can see, it can hit it can hit 60 pretty easily, um, as long as you're you know not looking at a huge mass of assets like over here, because each building is individually placed, and there's I'm sure junk laying around in there. 
So I'm sure a couple mods, like uh, the decluttering project, I think, gets rid of that. So let's go ahead, let's uh, test out um, if we can go up in wattage. And if that will get us to our 60 solid looking at this. No, it does not look like... It is definitely more stable outside of looking at this, but it is still dropping about five frames. Let's try 30 watts here. Yep, so uh, I would say uh, um, 30 watts doesn't really do you any better as well. So, all right, we're on the Steam Deck here. Let's launch the game. I'm actually kind of shocked how well this lapel mic actually works. I don't have to yell or scream or anything to get, you know, uh, my voice captured. That's actually kind of nice. So we're gonna be playing this at Ultra as well. Cancel. And we're gonna hit play. Now I am playing on the beta version of SteamOS. So any bugs that I experience here, I'm gonna be cutting out. Cause I don't want that to be a um, representation of what the Steam Deck is. Um, I don't think that would be fair there. So let's go ahead, let's uh, open up the overlay. Let's take a look here. So it's sitting at 60. I would say, so that did drop there. I think that's an asset loading thing. But the asset's already loaded now. I'm looking in this ravine 15 watts, I see 60. It's just 60 there. If I look off in the distance, 60. Look down here, 60. Um, so, ah, 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead, let's uh, drop the, drop it down to, down to 11 watts. Yeah, 60. All right, so let's drop ourselves down to seven. Seven watts, 60, 60. So in this one little spot here, no issues on the deck, whereas on the Neo, there were a couple hiccups there. So let's see how low we can go. Six watts. Looks like six watts is uh, starting to drop a little bit when I look in this area. How about, how about five watts? Five watts, it's dipping here. And then four watts. Yeah, it looks like with four watts, for the most part, you could cap this at 30 and play it at, um, I would say console F frames per second. Um, that would be very apt there. So, an apt comparison. All right, this is Fallout New Vegas on the Neo. Um, it is going to have the same settings, ultra applied to it. Let's give that a shot. I played a lot of Fallout New Vegas on this uh, device here. I actually uh, did an entire run on it. Um, I had to use a lot of VATs. That was mainly due to the analog sticks. Um, no shade at Aya, but um, the next definitely should be a much better experience if you have that device. So we're at 15 watts. 
Here we are. Okay. So this is, I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, the hardest area to show off here. So as you can see, it drops between 44 to, to about 55 at 15 watts. Let's actually see how 11 watts does. See if it stays above the 30 threshold here. If it stays above 30, I would say 11 watts should be perfectly playable. You could probably drop it even lower. I would say about 10, 9, 10 watts. Um, and you will be fine there with the Neo. I have gone down to that as well. So let's try 20 watts. Let's see if we can actually get 60 out of this. I have a feeling this is going to be more engine specific. Yeah, it's not helping at all. <laughs> let's uh, go ahead. Let's try 30. And this, yeah, 30 watts. I saw 58, but that's not anything super great um, because uh, we're still looking at a minimum of 44 about or so um, and a max of 57. Alrighty, so we have the Steam Deck here. We're gonna do the same thing, options, ultra. Ultra high quality is set. We're gonna hit okay to that. We're gonna hit play. So this is at 15 watts. So let's actually check that. 15 watts. So we can see the lucky 38 here. Tops. So we can see that it's on average better at 15 watts than the Neo was. But its minimum is lower. I saw a dip down to 43 or so. Not by a lot, but it was something I noticed. Um, so, we can pretty much gauge here. Let's go down to 11 watts here, like the Neo was. All right? Pretty similar performance here, bouncing in the 50s um, and 40s. If anything, it's a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah. Interestingly enough, um, after I updated to the beta software, um, the fan for the Steam Deck seems a little bit quieter. Could be just because of the game I'm playing, um, but let's see. So, 5 watts, remember? That would still give us uh, 30 frames per second. It looks like we could cap this here as well. So um, let's try four. Four might be a bit, bit low. Let's check. No, four watts. Four watts, 30 frames per second. Um, and you'll get yourself a good, let's see. If I unplug this here, I'd say four and a half bat hours of battery life, um, given the wattage that it's at. But yeah, in most areas, the wattage is actually going to go down because it's actually going to hit the 30 frame rate ca cap here, and that wattage will actually keep decreasing. Um, just so you guys know. All right, so we have the Neo here, options. And if we go into the advanced, everything's set to ultra, except for God Rays, which is set to low. Um, there are no mods applied to this. I would have fixed the God Rays with the, um, with the mod, but I wanna make this as plug and play as possible. Hopefully this camera should make things a little bit easier to see. Um, 
I say this, oh, there we go. I was like, I say this, but it doesn't look like it's actually doing that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go to the Commonwealth here. <clears throat> I actually wanna see if I can find a more taxing environment. I, I don't really play a lot of Fallout 4, so actually getting to Diamond City is kind of a chore to me. Let's take a look here. Yeah. So we're looking at 15 watts. And we're hovering around the above 30. So I wouldn't actually go any lower than 15 watts here because I'm seeing some dips to 27, it looks like. 27 is uh, when I look in this direction. So even in this small town, I'm seeing 27 frames. Um, what if I go over to 20 watts? 20 watts, does that boost it up? Yeah, it boosts it up a little bit. So 29, 28, 29 FPS. Let's see if we can get linear scaling and um, jump ourselves up to 30 watts. Looks like it has still set itself around 30 FPS. If you really, if you really need to keep that minimum FPS, there we go. Dumb luck. Okay. So, yeah. If you really need to keep that minimum uh, 30 FPS. You're gonna wanna probably <laughs> uh, probably lower the settings. I will be honest, doing there. Uh, let's actually set it to medium settings. And let's actually set our wattages to 11 watts. Can we play at medium settings? And I'll do the same on the Steam Deck as well. The screen does definitely look better on this camera, luckily, so it should be less noticeable. So, if I'm looking in this area here, 45 FPS. If I look over here, yeah, I would say medium settings, especially on this size of a screen, I don't really see a lot of benefit to the higher settings. Maybe better shadows at the higher settings, but I'm gonna be honest, the shadow looks pretty good on this screen. I really don't notice it, um, notice too much of a difference, because I just went from ultra to medium. Oh shit, I died, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Let's actually see if we can hit 60. Can we hit 60? Okay, hold up. Let's see if we can hit 60 FPS. Let's go to balance here. 15 watts. Oh, I'm quick saving. <laughs> of course I'm quick saving. Um, nope, not 60 yet. But getting closer getting closer. So let's try uh, this. Let's try 20 watts on the Neo. We're getting, we were getting closer. Yeah. And then let's try 30 watts just for the, just for the heck of it. 30 watts. 30 watts. If you have it docked, um, I could see how you'd be able to be playing this at um, pretty comfortable frame rate here. So I would say 30 watts, you're docked. I don't see the problem with that. Oh shit. I can't run away. I don't have a lot of stamina. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so that will be the test there of the Neo. Let's actually switch over to the Steam Deck. All right, deck. we're on the Steam Deck now. We're going to go to Options. We're going to go ahead and go to Advanced, just like we did on the Neo. Um, we need to be able to see those settings. Okay, they are the same. We're going to hit OK to that. 15 watts does keep us above 30 even looking over in this direction. Even when I back up looking in that direction, because it does drop a little bit. So let's try it at 11 watts. Does it stay above 30? It does. So 11 watts ultra settings if you cap it to 30. Um, at least in this area, you should be fine. Diamond City, I can't tell you that. Um, I would say probably in Diamond City, you're going to be you're going to be looking below 30 FPS probably, um, if I'd hazard a guess. Now, let me go ahead and drop it one more here, 10, and let's try nine. So it looks like nine watts. I'm still sitting above 30. Oh, it did drop to 29, but nine watts. Still playable experience. Not too bad, I would say. And I'm looking at these shadows here. They really don't look that much different from the uh, medium ones. I <laughs> will be honest on the screen, at least as far as I can see it. So let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's quit this out and let's go ahead, let's change the settings to medium. All right, so 15 watts. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at a nice, for the most part, 60 FPS experience. At 15 watts, medium settings. Let's see if we can drop it. 11 watts. 11 watts, still sitting mostly at 60. Now, I want to see is if <clears throat> with the cap off of it, nah, it doesn't do anything. It looks like uh, the game is actually just locked itself to 60. That's fine. <clears throat> so let's go down to nine watts nine watts for the most part still sitting mostly around 60 um, let's go back to the part where it was actually kind of lagging sitting back here yeah we are looking at 55 or so FPS that is a massive improvement though and then let's drop down to six watts can we stay above 30 here? Six watts. Let's try... Yeah, it looks like six watts might be about it. As low as you can go with medium settings. I wouldn't go any lower than medium settings if you ask me. Um, especially since you're already getting over three hours of battery life at this wattage. Um, and you can probably get even more if you just were to cap the frame rate to 30. Okay, the Outer Worlds. And I'm just making sure. So let's actually take a look here at the settings because the settings are, this, the screen, I don't know, man. Uh, the uh, the text on this game is a little low um, for my liking. I know I can change that in the UI section, um, but that's not a big concern for me because I can see it immediately. Uh, so I have 85% resolution scaling, 
of 800p, 90 field of view. I have custom graphic settings because this is what I use on the Steam Deck. Um, medium screen effects, medium view distance, shadows are set to high, textures are set to ultra, and visual and foliage both set to medium as well. And it looks pretty good at those settings. So let's load the game and we're going to do the manual save here. Let's take a look. So you can see the screen looks better when it's not being um, overexposed. Ooh. So as we can see, we're sitting at, for the most part, 30 FPS at 15 watts. Trying to find a stress, stress point here. So this is one of the harder planets to render, and it's this area here is where it um, gives, gives you a hiccup. Yeah, so you can see it drops down to um, 30 here. So let's go ahead, let's give this its 20 watts. 20 watts, it looks like it is definitely enjoying it a little bit more. Stretching its legs. Let's go around here and let's test 11 watts just to go down a little bit and see if it does drop further up. Oh, no, yeah. And it stays dropped. Okay. So 30 FPS for the most part at 11 watts. Um, it's just in certain areas you're going to notice a drop to 25, which I don't consider playable, but for some people um, they can get by with that. So let's give 30 watts a try. And let's see this game. At that choke point. Still sitting above 30 comfortably. So if you were to double buffer the V-Sync or have a have the frame rate set to 30 in the Radeon settings. Um, you could probably lock it to 30 at, um, I would say 20, no, and 15 watts. Just lock it to 30. Um, then you don't have to worry about it fluctuating from like 40s to 30s. It's just, it'd be so much better if you just locked it to 30 on here. Yeah. So that's the Neo. Pretty good showing, I would say. I, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how this system handled it. Let's see how the Steam Deck handles. Okay. There is a little bit of a bright spot there on the Steam Deck in here, but those aren't those aren't noticeable off camera. Okay. So we have it set to that's let's, let's adjust this. Thanks. Fifteen watts. And these are going to be the same settings that I showed before. If you want to look, you can. But I guarantee you they are the same. When I first played this game on PC, I actually played it on Linux. I played it through Lutris and the Epic Games Launcher. Interestingly enough. Um, hmm. So we're looking at a drop down to 30 when we look up there. Let's see if we can drop it down to drop it down to 11 watts like we did on the Neo. Let's see if that does it. 11 watts. Um, it does dip down, but it dips down and recovers so quickly. It's not an issue like it was on the Neo. Um, I could still play this at 11 watts. And I will be honest, I have been playing it at 11 watts up to this, uh, to this point. When I dock it, of course, I'm gonna be setting it to its 15 watt TDP, but at 11 watts, this runs pretty well. 
So it drops down there and then it keeps going. Okay, so let's see how far we can go before that drop becomes sustained. Oh, I probably want 11 watts, let's check it. Yeah, 11 watts for the most part um, will keep you at or above 30. So that being said, that wraps up this video. So let me know how you guys like the audio quality. Um, I did a few test runs and it sounds okay. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. Um, which hopefully isn't as big of a gap as it was this time. Peace out.